This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. I'm Dave Brown for Accessible Media. This image shows a young boy splashing water in a bathtub. For Tracy Garbett, who is blind, going to a museum isn't always an inclusive experience, especially when so many aspects of an exhibit are visual. You don't feel like you get much out of it, and I'm with my family and my kids are talking about stuff, and they're describing stuff, and that's great, but you don't get the full effect. You can't touch it, you can't get near it, and unless you touch it, you really don't understand what you're looking at. It's really hard to put that picture in your mind. But at the Sight Unseen exhibit, blind and low vision visitors are able to experience photography by sound and touch. You can get audio descriptions for several photos by touching sensors on the 3D print. This photograph was taken from a car window. You can hear text through the museum's smartphone app. Welcome to the Canadian Museum for Human Rights Audio Description Tour. You can also feel several pictures that have been reproduced on a sensory plane. Maureen Fitzhenry is the Media Relations Manager for the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. She explains why this multi-sensory experience was a priority for the museum. Canadian Museum for Human Rights is very committed to having an inclusive experience to uh, recognize and promote disability rights and inclusion. So for the blind, they can actually directly interact with the piece of art without having any interpreter try to tell them uh, what to think of it. They can judge it for themselves. Back in the gallery, Tracy remains immersed in Bruce Hall's 3D printed picture of a child in a bathtub. He describes how it feels to have an exhibit that is tailored to be inclusive of someone with low vision. You feel pretty good because you know that you're getting something out of it and when you get that voice activation giving you even more description, you're part of the picture. You get it and you understand what you're looking at. For Accessible Media, I'm Dave Brown.